we're doing a different type of jello shot today. Same flavor as we've done in the past, but it's a little bit different. We're going to show you pictures of it after a while. Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not because the air conditioner's on. Mm -hmm. I admit, I turned my air conditioner on for the first time this year yesterday. What a treat that was. I got a new apron, can you tell? It's made out of leather, it's got pockets everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's a welder's apron. It's supposed to protect me from heat and sparks. And when you're cooking naked, you need extra protection. This is all gonna look pretty standard to the most of you. We got two double packages of gelatin in our pitcher. That means we're going to add four, four cups of boiling water and hope that that pitcher holds it. I don't know if it will. I kept thinking, oh, I'll just do two packs. I've done two packs together in one pitcher in the past. Yes, I have. But they were single packs. These are double packs. And I'm going to use a whisk to steer it. And I'll show you why in a little while, how that whisk is going to come in pretty handy. Are you ready for your math lesson for today? When you put four cups of boiling water with two packages of jello, you end up with five cups of liquid because you have to take in consideration the, uh, the powdered gelatin. That's more volume. So I can't just take four cups out of this. I take these two cups out of this and think I have half. I don't. So we're taking care of that. We're moving on. We're going to start with the whipped vodka from Pinnacle. It's a good vodka. Here where I can find it in Texas is dirt cheap. Well, it's not as cheap as I can find it out west because I tell you what, they can... They sell liquor in the grocery stores in Walmart and Rite Aid, everywhere out west. Here in Texas, you got to go to a specialty liquor store. Oh my goodness, look at that. I have almost exactly two cups of whipped liquor. Oh, I don't want to put two cups in that. That goes in this one. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I just threw both batches then at the same time. Yeah, that'll be fine. This will be slightly uh, weaker. Nobody's going to know. By the time they have 50 of these, they won't care either. That's the secret ingredient. Heavy whipping cream. Now I could add a few more things to that as well. Like I could add a little sprig of vanilla. Maybe even a dash of cinnamon. I guess y'all heard about my plight with the roaches. This ain't no roach. It ain't no ant. It's a liquor bug. Goddamn vodka had a little liquor bug in it. Oh, it's not even a bug. Here, y'all getting all excited about nothing. Ew, ew. Well, you are you want. Okay, let's whip this shit up. Now, it's not going to froth up a whole lot because there's a lot of water in there. But what's going to happen, and we'll see after a while, a little separation where the froth will come to the top. And the cups will be pretty because the clear gelatin will be at the bottom and it'll be frothy gelatin at the top. And it'll be creamy, orangey deliciousness. Now, I got in trouble yesterday because I didn't have enough gel shots to go around. Yeah, so I, I made something up while I was serving them. 
and it worked. I called them a share shot. So I told everybody, you can have a jello shot, but you got to share it. And you can't share it out of the cup. You got to sloop it out of the cup, and then you got to kiss somebody and give them half the shot. The games began. I need some help coming up with a cocktail for a progressive cocktail party on Memorial Day weekend. I want it to be served in a bucket so it's easy to ladle out to 150 people. But I want it to be tasty and delicious. Oh, and it's got to be cheap too. Cheap and easy. Got to be cheap, cheap, cheap. Easy, easy, easy. It's the only way to have any fun. I know y'all all gonna be complaining about how distracting the air conditioner noise is and how distracting the whisk noise is. I hear it, I do. But you know, there's just certain things I cannot help. So that's okay. Have a shot and you'll get over it. Actually, shots help you get over a lot of things. You know, you learn that at the free clinic. I did not say that. But I tell you what, we used to keep them free clinics busy. Last Sunday, we tested some shot recipes. And we took a rum chata, a whipped cream vodka, and fireball whiskey, and we mixed three equal parts. Most of the guests that weekend didn't remember the day. I'm sitting here putting these lids on, and I'm thinking of how I can make these jello shots keto friendly. So I have a recipe racing in my mind right now. And I have the supplies right here in this house to make that come true. So, what do y'all think? Should we clean this kitchen up once these go in the refrigerator and make some keto-friendly gelatin shots? The same flavor, Orange Dream. I bet you we can make it happen. No sugar and no carbs, but lots of flavor and a bit of alcohol, too. Yep, yep, yep. They stopped making the Orange Dream sickles the way that they made them when I was a kid. The outside coating wasn't orange sherbet like they are now. The outside coating was a, actually a thick orange cream. I know you're thinking that's not true. It's the Mandela effect, I know. But still, they were just creamy and delicious. And then, all of a sudden they came back on the market and they had a thick coating of a orange ice, like a, like a popsicle. They just were never the same. So when I discovered these little recipes here, thank you, clamping guys. Um, I just can't get enough of this flavor. I really do want to do the keto ones. Because there's a few people here that are real keto. But I also want to go out and socialize. I'm touring. Jim, the keto will be next week. Okay? Deal. You see the separation there? They're going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. Damn, can you hear those frogs are croaking? Finished product, ready to roll.